Good afternoon, Shaniacs. How are you today? Yes, we get to use the Shaniacs now and a little bit of the Shane Man Nation. So I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're keeping warm. I hope you're being safe. Uh, as you can tell by the name of this video, uh, I want to talk about talking too much. Uh, yeah, over the last two weeks, I've had three different people say, you talk too much. So I, I think that's kind of funny of myself because it is a video but anyway I made a little response to that so uh, take a look at it someone commented yesterday and a few other people have mentioned this too that I talk too much I was told you need more action but I'm sorry about that it's not like it's fast food or anything thank you for choosing KFC this is Danielle how can I help you hi Danielle can I get a uh, Shane man with less talking and more action please Sorry, what? It's more like a potluck with all your crazy aunts and uncles and cousins coming together. You see, YouTube for me has become more than about content. It's not about how much I talk or how much I don't talk or how much action there is or how much action there isn't. For me, it's become about... Community. 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 I watch videos all the time and I think to myself, this person should do this, this person should do this, this person should edit this way, or talk about this or talk about that. But I keep it to myself because it's their creation. You see what I mean? It's their style. It may not appeal to you, but it appeals to a lot of people. So yeah, in conclusion, this is someone's creation. And yeah, you have totally the right to be a critic. Like sometimes people say, hey, your music is too loud. You know what? That's good information. It comes to a point in the creating process where you go, I can't please everybody. And more importantly, because this is that community, I want to tell you how, what I'm experiencing. What am I feeling? How are you feeling? If somebody reaches out to me and says, hey, I'm having a really bad day. You know what? I want to mention it on the show and say, hey, you know what? Susie's having a bad day. And unfortunately, that requires talking. So anyway, that's all I'm going to say about that, um, but I do appreciate the comments, even the ones that say I talk too much. Um, you know, I can do better, and I will try to do better to talk less and, and give you a little bit more action. But again, I can't please everybody. Everybody. So anyway, uh, I thought we'd do a little dumpster dive. There's a GameStop here in town, and I haven't hit that one in a while, so let's go take a look. Oh, wow. This is all metal. Come on, dude. Seriously? World of Warcraft, $25. Activation instruction. Blizzard Entertainment. Wow, that's a nice, nice little piece there. Definitely gonna grab this out of here. It's a nice hunk of metal. Holy cow, that took a lot out of me. Mystery GameStop bags. I don't look through them anymore. Well, here's a cool poster. Activision. That could be really nice. I will unroll that later. Very cool. Put that in the front. So... Bolton board. Definitely don't need one of those. Oh, it's got a rip in it. I think I'm going to take that poster with me. Might be desirable. What do you think, guys? How much rip? Another one of those. Another one of those. Street Fighter. 
I think I'm gonna grab, just grab these and take them all home. There's quite a few there. Oh, look at that. What the hell we got there? Oh, don't fall. Don't fall, don't fall, please don't open up. Sweet. Oh my God, those are South Park posters, dude. Look at all of them. Holy crap. Super score, holy cow. Sweet. Look at this. Oh my gosh, that's cool. And these are in here too. Guardian of the Galaxy posters. Oh my gosh, those are awesome. What else we got in here, man? Oh. Almost dropped you. Dead Rising 4, there's something in there. Dare we check it out? It's in there, dude. Dead Rising 4 snow globe. I don't know what that is. I'm not a gamer. I hate to disappoint anybody out there that's watching, but we will definitely take that with us. this oh my god marvel oh my god check it out oh, oh my gosh freaking jackpot that thing opens up oh star wars sweet moses oh yeah baby oh there's more in there too come back for those in a second Destiny 2. Well, obviously I'm gonna grab these two. I know you guys are gonna be like, why didn't you go through the bags? Go through the bags, dude. I don't feel anything in there as far as game cases or anything. And last time I went through them, it was just pretty freaking nasty. There's more in there. Sheepers, we'll grab those two. What's this? Titan's Fall, 14th month calendar. I'm guessing that must be this year, although it doesn't, it doesn't really give you. Oh, it says 2016. I'm gonna guess that's probably old one. Well, I think that's it. I want to grab this. Wow, nice two black uh, plastic things back there. Like milk crate looking things. Dumpster juice. Oh, there's three of them. Nice. I will definitely grab those up. So yeah, got them. So those are really nice. They're all solid. Storex, I guess like made in Canada. Made in Canada? What the hell's made in Canada? Oops. <laughs> okay, everybody, here are the, vi er, the videos. Here are the posters that we got from GameStop today. South Park, the fractured butthole. <laughs> There's a bunch of those. I don't know how many. How many do you think, Jay? A lot. Jay says a lot. All right, so that's the that's the one we got a bunch of, and then this is a double-sided poster, Destiny, Destiny, the Taken King. So it's a big one, and then kind of flip it over there for Ken. And then this is the back side, which is pretty awesome looking. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Then we got uh, Xbox poster. Here, I wanna hand one to you. The Xbox One poster. Shadow of Colossus. The 
The Invisible Hours. I have no idea what any of these are. Railway Empire. Let's just turn them all this way. Destiny Warriors. Oh, that one's pretty chewed up though. Oh well, it's probably still cut it off there. Oh, Minecraft G. Cool. You want that one? No. No? Oh. Another Invisible Hours. Ooh, cool. Well, that's neat. I like that one. Another Minecraft. Monster Hunter World. Pokemon. Street Fighter Arcade Edition. And some Dragon Balls. One there, just feels like there's two. Another Dragon Balls, another Dragon Balls. And another Dragon Balls. It's just Dragon Ball. Oh, it's just Dragon Ball? Yeah. I was saying it wrong. My son says it's Dragon Ball. Oh, that's a big boy. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's really cool. Hold on a second. That's a long poster. So it's ball, not balls, huh? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's see? Another Pokemon. Pokemon. <laughs> I always said Pokemon when he was growing up. He'd always correct me. All right, there's a boring one. It's the regular offering. Ooh, here's a huge one. Call of Duty. Whoa. That is epic. Wow. Whoop. What is this? Destiny 2? Okay. And then here's the one I got really excited about. Check it out, man. That is wicked cool. The big full size. Man, Luke Skywalker, Captain America. Double sided. Very cool. And then the Hulk. Oh, that's just look at this size. Double sided though, as well, which is pretty cool. All right, and then grab that stuff off the chair there. And then we got. I think there's four of these Guardian of the Galaxy posters. And uh, you want to unfold that for me? Yeah. And there's four of these, which I thought it was Ratchet and Clank, but I've been corrected. It is Crash Bandicoot. 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 Yeah. Insane Trilogy. Is that double sided? Oh, yeah. Cool. Cool. So there you have it. Thanks, Jay. So yeah, so that was our uh, score today. All right, guys, something else came in the mail today from the Mylan Auction. This is gonna be my check for the stuff I took last week. So let's take a look. $100.75, not bad. All the mannequins sold for 105. Good morning, Shaniacs. How is everyone out there this morning? It is Friday morning. It's a bit chilly, but that's okay because it's going to be 50 degrees this weekend. Woo! We are going to be doing some major dumpster diving because it's going to feel good outside. So I'm looking forward to that. Plus, uh, tonight we're going to a gun show, but that'll be on the next video. Anyway, guys, uh, very excited this morning. I'm going to run over here to my favorite dumpster before I stop it at the branch uh, for my work to pick up some stuff for one of my customers. So yeah, that is the plan. And then after uh, after I get done this morning, I'm gonna hit some more dumpsters and wrap this video up. Oh yeah, what do we got here today? Oh, we got that big chunky copper back there. Some more of those deals. Some chunky copper right there. Oh, come on, baby. So anyway, yeah, 
got that big chunky copper there. Some of those. So this could be copper. Yeah, it's got some telephone, but that's like number two. Sweet, let's get digging. So I wanted to show you, as I'm digging through here, there's some type of a copier right there that kind of exposed itself to me. So, yeah. Okay, so I got four of those and a lot of this beautiful copper. And I don't know what the hell this thing is. And just all this stuff here, and there's still more in there. I'm gonna come back later when it's warmed up. Now you can see, that's a lot of copper. Now the last time I had a bunch of this, I wanna say 50 pounds. I'll have to look that video up and see for sure. But I only got number two for it because of that white stuff there in the middle. And uh, it almost looks like a fiberglass or something, I don't know. But uh, that middle part there, it's, it's, it's got a silverness to it. Oops, a silverness to it. And that is aluminum, I think, because my magnet does not attract it to it at all. If you guys have any thoughts on how to get that out of there without putting it into a fire, I'm not gonna burn it off. I'm not gonna put those chemicals up into the air. So let me know if you have any thoughts on that. Well, I am done with my physical job for the day. Thought I'd do some dumpster picking here. Looks like I might have some interesting stuff there. A snowman, I don't know if you can see it, but it's snowman frame. Let's just pull this out of here. There you go. Picture holder made of cupcakes. Gear bombs. Last smelly orders. All right. Hickory Farms. What do we got here? Feels heavy. DVD? Really? I can take a closer look at that when we get home. It's like hard plastic. Uh, Oh, it's copper! <laughs> copper gingerbread man! Ooh. In frame. Somebody's drugs. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they have my drugs on. Naturally absorbs odors. Little screwdriver can always use those. Super sliders for furniture. Oh so, yeah. Well, I'm gonna set some stuff out here. Definitely keeping the copper guy. Sorry about the shadow there. Keep this one here. Keep the snowman frame. player and let's see here this looks like it's like the card holder keep those for just Okay, it looks 
mostly missed just about it. And then this was in there too. Nice three drawer thing. There goes the I'm going to empty this out, but I'm going to keep the three door. That's a pretty nice little Sterilite three door deal. So, Robert G sent me an email today or a message today saying guy goes into a bar and it's covered in black feathers bartender and says what's up with the black feathers he says what do you expect it's a crowbar so I think we found some pretty good things here at the apartment that uh, definitely could be used for the uh, giveaway when we hit 1500 what do we got there boys and girls is that metal it looks like metal to me Oh, there's some more metal right there. Look at that. Huh? Nice chunky steel, baby. Sweet. Let me get those out of there. Well, we got three pieces out of there. Not bad. Three more pieces for the dream. Okay. Anything good? Cut coat today. see anything jumping out at me. No dog food anyway. Oh, there's some cans of, cans of something down there. So those cans down there at the bottom are called Royal Cannon Ultra Light. I don't see an expiration date. Maybe something will hear this here, I'll bet. April 1st. 2017. Well, there you go. Oops, no good. Okay, guys, so uh, I'm going to go over here behind uh, Bed Bath & Beyond, go see if they got anything good, and then that's going to do it for the dumpster diving portion of this episode. Dress barn. The net shiny. Always have a ton of posters in here. Nothing good though. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the dumpster diving. Found a few good things the last uh, couple days. But I'm going to go home, and I'm gonna, I got an idea what I want to try with this to get that housing off of there. So what I did, folks, is I took this block, I cut a notch out of it, same diameter as this metal, and then I clamped it up against the saw blade, and I ran, ran this through it. Uh, it took me a couple tries, but the final try the final the final deal is this oh wow look at that comes right off refrigerator magnets yeah it's totally I mean you can tell that's yeah so that's an aluminum that's an aluminum center there so I went ahead and I just scored the rest of this with a with a it's kind of hard to see with a knife with this utility knife right here and it peeled off fairly easy, so it's not hard to get that casing off as hard as I thought it would be. I thought it would be kind of attached with the ribs and be hard to get off. So that's not bad. So I can get to there fairly quickly, especially if I build a wire, wire stripper. But, again, it's just this center thing here. You know, it's like, what do I do? 
how do I get that out of there without harming the environment? You know what I mean? Well, guys, I think that's going to wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. You know, we really scored at the uh, GameStop dumpster, and we found some other stuff today. It was pretty good. If you have any ideas on how I can get to that copper, uh, let me know. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We will definitely see you at the next dumpster. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.